Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're at Titleist headquarters today in Carlsbad, California. We're with Dan Stone, who's Senior Vice President of Research and Development here at Titleist. We're talking about new TS2, TS3 metalwoods, and there are four unique shaft offerings, stock shaft offerings in these products that we wanted to take the consumer through, help them decide maybe which one's the right one for them. Yes, so I think one of, the, one of the core changes that we wanted to achieve is to make sure that we're offering shafts in a weight range, the stock product that would have a weight range that our target consumer is going to perform best by. So if you look at the, the weight range that we offer now, we're going from 50, 55, 60, and 65 grams as our stock offering. That's typically five grams or so lighter than we've been in the past. So it's a lighter overall weight product. Um, we wanted to make sure that if people are going to go and, and, and pick up the club on the rack and go and hit a few shots with it in an indoor fitting environment, that they have weight ranges that I think make sense for that consumer. So let's walk through each yeah. of the four shafts and talk a little bit about maybe the uh, spin and launch profile and who might be a good candidate for each one. Yeah, so I think starting with Kurokage is our 50, 50 gram option. This is obviously for players who need a little help getting the ball up or need, you know, it's a, a mid launch to high launching product. Um, and what, what's cool about this shaft, as well as the Tensei we'll talk about in a second, is that it has straight flight weighting. So years ago, we did some tests um, at night at Oceanside. So we had to do it at night because we didn't want players to, to see where the ball was gonna go. We wanted <laughs> them to hit, the, hit, hit shots. So we gave them a series of shafts, um, ranging from light to heavy. And one of the things that we noticed was whenever you go light, the, the tendency was for players, their natural tendency before they correct is to go right. So um, that's really where this technology was born. So we, we discovered that after playing around with balance points and, and all kinds of weighting distributions, um, we found that if we can place weight right under the, right under the grip, at the end of the grip, um, localized weighting, that activates the player and the shaft in a way that mitigates that right. So in other words, it brings that tendency to go right for light shafts back to neutral. Uh, and mm -hmm. this is not like a draw off shot, uh, product. Gotcha. This is simply taking that bias out for all players, generally speaking, all players, when they pick up those lighter shafts, they, you know, there's first sh couple of shots in general, not every case, just kind of flare off to the right. Yeah. And we wanted to get rid of that. So that's where that's really the genesis behind straight flight weighting. Neat, yeah, and that's brand new. First time you guys have ever actually utilized that in a to market driver. Well, we we did use it in Japan in a different market, so it's got okay. some history behind it, but we've never introduced it in a global line product before. Okay, so that's in the Kurokagi and also the Tensei Blue. Tensei which Blue, which is uh, you know a 55 gram option. Uh, this is a great shaft for for the, again that mid to to high launching product but also for players who um, you know, are, are looking to gain speed, perhaps they've lost some speed. Um, they're, they're, these, both, the technologies in both of these shafts allow a guy who's lost speed to really drop down and consider an S or an X um, and try both of them and see, see what happens. Look at their ball speed because we've had some really good results. Yeah, and so you know, two great options for that moderate swing speed player, but also two great options for the more powerful swinger. Absolutely. Uh, starting with the Hazardous Smoke Black, which is a new shaft. Yes, so Hazardous Smoke Black uh, is really kind of that uh, mid to lower launching uh, uh, shaft in terms of being a little bit more meaty for players to, to control trajectory and keep the launch conditions down. Um, we've had some very good success, all four of these shafts are on tour in terms of their, uh, you know, these are stock real deal shafts. They're not products that are, uh, you know, watered down or diluted. They're actually, they're actually real deal products. Um, and then even flow. So if this is our meatiest of shafts, still at 65 grams, but we'll control, it's a low trajectory product, you know, a little bit more tip stiff and we'll, we'll control ball flight and, and minimize that, that flare up for, for lower spin. Yeah, and that's great information from Dan. So if you, you know, obviously Titleist would love to get you out and go through a fitting and get in a shaft at Second Swing. We'd love to get you into one of our stores to do a fitting. But if you're not going to have that opportunity and you want a TS2 or TS3 Metalwood, take Dan's advice. 
you'll be able to pick the shaft that's probably going to be the best fit for you, and that's going to help you have more success on the golf course. Absolutely. Dan, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.